Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the Google Maps on your WordPress website. There are two ways of doing that. First way is by using the embed link. And the second way is by installing a plugin. So I'm going to show you both the ways. So let's see the first way, which is by embedding the Google Map link into your post or the page. So let me create a new page here. And let's say I want to name my page as a location. And here I want to add the Google Map location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Google Map first of all, and I will search for some location which I want to show on my Google Map. Let's say for me, it's Frankfurt Air Airport, or it can be any uh, location which you want to show on your map, right? So once you search for uh, that location, you will see uh, these options here. And what we want to do is we want to click this option which says share. And in the share option, what we want to do is we want to click this option which says embed a map. And then we can choose uh, the type of map we want. So we can choose the small map, which is of uh, this size, or we can choose the medium, which is the medium size, or we can choose the large size, which is something like this. So we are going to choose the small size and then we will just uh, copy the HTML from here. So just copy this uh, HTML. And then once you have copied the HTML, just go to your uh, page and then go to the text sections. There are two uh, sections here, view visual section and the text section, right? So you need to be in your text section, which is this one. And then just paste whatever you have copied from here, which is uh, this uh, code which you have copied, right? So once you have done that, you just need to go to your visual section and then you will be able to see the map here, okay? So let me uh, just uh, publish this and let me just open this on my website so we will see how it looks like. So you can see it looks like this. So this is the location and the Google map will look like this. Now let's say we want to uh, just be more flexible about our map. What we can do here is we can go to our uh, page once again where we are editing our page and here we can choose the full width here and then update our uh, page and we are going to just uh, refresh the page on which map is there. And you can see uh, now there is no sidebar on the page, right? So if you want to just remove the sidebar and show the map to the whole width of the page, then what you can do is, first of all, remove the sidebar by choosing the full width. And then what we are going to do is we will just change this code a little bit. So we'll go to text once again, and in the text, uh, where you see the width. So right now the width is 400 for me. So just search for this uh, property, which is called width. And instead of uh, some number, in my case, it's 400. You can just write 100%. So just write 100% here. And then uh, height, I'm uh, good with this height. So I'm going to just leave it as default. And then I'm going to just uh, update my uh, page. And let's uh, refresh the page and we will see that this map is now covering the whole page of my website. So this is the first way of adding a Google map to your website. Let's see the second way of uh, adding a Google map. So the second way is uh, just go to your uh, plugin section. So just go here and then say add new. So go to plugin and then just click on add new and then I will search for Google map here. So I'm going to search for Google map and the most popular option which I will find here is this one which says WP Google maps. So I'm going to choose this option which says WP Google map and I'm going to install this on my WordPress uh, website. And once it's installed, you just need to press activate in order to activate it. So I'm going to just press on activate. 
and once it's activated in the maps section so, so on the maps section here you will see this kind of welcome window first of all so we will just uh, click this option which says skip intro and create a map so i'm going to just press on this option and then we will uh, just create a map so to create a map we just need to create a api key first of all right so, so the first step is to get the google maps api key so we are going to click on this option which says create uh, api key now so i'm going to just click on this option which is going to redirect me to a google website which is console.developers.google.com which is from google and here we can create a website so i'm going to just select a project if you don't have any project you can create a new project from here so let's create a new project so i'm going to click on the create a project option and then click continue and then once the project is created this is the project which will be created by default for you with the name my project or something like this okay so this will be selected in your case and then you can see api key so, so just leave everything as default and uh, the application restriction leave it to null for now but you can later restrict to for example http referrers or any other referrers right so i'm going to just click on create now and once you click the create option you will see this api key so i'm going to just copy this api key and then i'm going to go to my wordpress uh, uh, website and here i'm going to paste this api key in the second step so i'm going to just paste this api key and then click save and once it's saved you can just uh, create something so let's edit my first map here and in, in here you can uh, first of all give the location whatever location you want so i'm going to just give the same location which i have used previously which is frankfurt airport let's say terminal number one and then if i want any animation bounce or drop you can uh, you know add this let's say i want to add a drop animation and then uh, if i want to uh, show any info window uh, open by default i don't want to show anything so i'm going to just uh, click add marker so once the marker is created you will be able to see this marker here right so once this is created you just need to uh, copy this short code so just copy this uh, short code from here and then create a new page let's say we are going to create a new page and in this page let's uh, say the title is uh, location and then we will just paste this short code here inside the text uh, option so just paste this short code inside the text tab and then and once you have done that just publish your uh, post let's say and then we are going to just uh, open that link and once we open that link you will see a map here right so in this way you can add a um, google map on your wordpress website i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now